Here we have some problems that have to do with converting between different uh, units of measure and using what are called unit multipliers or conversion factors. And for this stuff you have to know some facts. And if you don't know the facts, if a particular, like you're not sure how many uh, pounds there are in a ton, you can always look those things up. Just go to the internet, you can find it in a second. This first one says convert 2,600 pounds to tons. Well, if you went to the internet and looked up how many pounds in a ton, you would find out that one ton equals 2,000 pounds. Actually, I guess they abbreviate that LBS, don't they? So, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. What we can do with this fact is turn it into a unit multiplier, which looks like a fraction. And you can have one of two forms. You can put the tons on the top, and the pounds on the bottom, or you can put the pounds on the top and the ton on the bottom. Either one is correct and you'll just pick which one makes most sense to use in the particular problem. Now we're ready to do this thing. It says convert 2600 pounds to tons. So we're starting with the 2600 pounds and then I'm going to write that as a fraction and what we do is we we multiply this by this unit multiplier. The one I'm going to pick is the one that has pounds on the bottom because here I have pounds on the top. So that's this one. So that would be one ton on the top, 2,000 pounds on the bottom. And the reason we do that is because we want the original units to cancel. And these do with one on the top, one on the bottom. Those will cancel. And what I'm left with, the only unit I'm left with is tons, and that's what I want to end up in. Now all we have to do is the multiplication. So with fractions you multiply across the top, we have 2,600 times 1. That's just 2,600. And we have 1 times 2,000. That's just 2,000. This is tons. So now we just have to do a little bit of division here. 2,600 divided by 2,000. And we've got 1.3 tons. And that is our answer. Let's take a look at this. This says simplify, and they've really done most of the work for us. Looks like somebody's trying to figure out how much um, money they're going to earn. We've got, f or how much money they're earning per hour. I think that's what. They started with this number, $532 in one week. So that must be how much they make. That must be their paycheck. And then in one week, they work five days. And in one day, they work eight hours. If we cancel units that are on the top and bottom, Weeks would cancel, days would cancel. We're starting with um, you know, money, we end with money per hour. We started with money per week, we're ending with money per hour, which is good, so you're getting your hourly wage there. Now to do the math to actually figure this out, we just have to multiply across the top of the fraction, across the bottom of the fraction, and then do the division. So this top is 532 times 1 times 1, that's just 532. And on the bottom, it's 1 times 5 times 8, that's 40. And now we have to just do that division, 532 divided by 40. If you plug that into your calculator, I think you're going to get $13.30 an hour. That's not the worst job to have. Last one. It says use a unit multiplier to convert 1,860 yards to feet. So the fact you need to know is that one yard equals three feet. And then you can make unit multipliers out of that. You could put the yards on top and the feet on the bottom, or the feet on the top and the yards on the bottom. Now let's set up the problem. It says convert 1,860 yards. So we're starting with 1,860 yards. Put that over a one to turn it into a fraction. Then we're going to multiply it by one of these unit multipliers. You want to pick the one that if you start with yards on the top, we'll have yards on the bottom so it can cancel. And that's this one. So three feet, one yard. The yards will cancel. Now we'll do the math. 1,860 times three across the top. That's 5,580. And then one times one on the bottom. And we're ending up with feet as our units. So that's 5,580 feet is our answer. So those are some problems using uh, unit multipliers.